Имаше и за тези прозорци, може би, човеци. Все още останали, не изчезнали, не излечени. В дъното, където свършваха редиците дървета, улицата се разтваряше в огнен залез. Там ме чакаха. И аз забързах напред. I'm Angel Igo from Bulgaria, and uh, I normally write fiction. Um, although I have really started thinking I might experiment in other genres. Um, I'm also a scholar. I teach English literature and translation at Sofia University, and of course I translate books. The best and the worst are actually connected. Uh, I think they both stem from the fact that it's a rather small book market, which on the one hand means that uh, as a writer you have fewer opportunities and you, you are dependent on translation. But on the other hand, the fact that uh, the publishing industry in Bulgaria is not so powerful gives you a lot of creative freedom. Um, so as a consequence, we have a lot of variety contemporary Bulgarian literature. <laughs> the best thing is that it's my home, um, but, but on a less personal note, uh, one thing I appreciate about my country is that most people have a good sense of humor and irony. The most pleasurable aspect is actually what comes before writing itself, toying with, the, with ideas. Uh, that's what I find really inspiring and, and exhilarating, and, uh, and it's often followed by a lot of hard work. Um, but, but the thing that's actually most difficult, or maybe most boring for me personally, uh, comes after writing and after publication. Um, and it involves a promotion of, of what you've written. Yeah, like uh, posting on uh, social networks and, uh, and accumulating followers and, and stuff. I, I'm not really good at that. I do think that writers have a public duty and uh, I actually think that most writers internalize it. Most writers internalize it and, uh, and have their own measure and, and way of, uh, of exercising their public duty. Um, so I'm, I don't think that, that uh, writers need anybody coming from, from outside and reminding them about their public duty because they, they already have that. Um, but I'm not sure about COVID. I mean, uh, I'm pretty sure that it has influenced my thinking and writing in, in many ways. Uh, but I, do, I think it's just too early to, for me to, to realize how exactly. That's an interesting question. Um, I do think that the state should have a role in supporting literature and, and I also think that in the long term uh, there are many benefits for the state uh, from supporting literature and culture in, in general. Um, for instance, in, in my country, because it's a small book market and, um, and very few writers are able to really support themselves through writing, one thing the state could do, and unfortunately doesn't, uh, would be to award grants to, to writers uh, so they could focus on their work and, and not do any side jobs. Um, I also think that, uh, this, that states could be, could be involved in, uh, in the translation and promotion of, uh, of their own literature. Um, and that's, that's something that many states do. Um, I'm not sure to what extent the United States does that. Um, 
because today for many Bulgarian publishers um, it can be quite expensive to, uh, to translate and publish contemporary American literature uh, because it's very rarely subsidized uh, while German, French, Spanish and writers from most other countries actually usually are and uh, yeah I, I hope that's something we're thinking about. Well, any kind, of, any kind of financial support that involves a lot of complex institutions uh, cannot be entirely beneficial. I, I mean, of course, it has its, its own drawbacks. Um, I, I, I don't really want to go into, into details because, because they can be very technical. Um, but, uh, of course, uh, it involves a lot of bureaucracy and uh, bureaucracy doesn't always come to, to the best decisions. Um, but on the whole, it, it has certainly produced a lot more positive effects than, than negative. Yes. Um, I was thinking about that. I, I wasn't sure what, what exactly I should recommend. Uh, and, and then I thought of um, one of my favorite Bulgarian novels, uh, which uh, was translated into English quite recently, several years ago. Um, the, writer, the writer's name is Ivailo Petrov. And uh, the, the book's title in Bulgarian is Haika Zavolci. In English, it's Wolf Hunt. It was translated by Angela Rodo and published um, a couple of years ago by Archipelago Books. Um, so that was a novel written in the 1980s and uh, it basically concerns life in a, in a Bulgarian village uh, through several decades in the 20th century against the background of, uh, well, the most tumultuous and, and dramatic events in, in uh, contemporary Bulgarian, Bulgarian history. Uh, things such as, well, oh, the, war, the wars, the interwar period, resistance, uh, communism, uh, land reform, uh, stuff like that. Um, but it's also, apart from, from focusing on, on these dramatic events, it's, it's also a very, very human novel, uh, quite comic also at times, uh, though maybe in a, in a dark way. Um, so yes, I would recommend that, especially since it's, it's available in English. Well, prices have soared. Uh, but, uh, well, um, I didn't know much from my personal uh, experience firsthand about, uh, about Iowa or, or the, the Midwest in general. Uh, so it was really good to, to come here and, uh, and, and see the place. Um, and of course, coming from anywhere, uh, you come with a bunch of, of stereotypes, right? Um, one thing that Iowa is supposed to be, it's supposed to be a rather conservative state. So it was a pleasant surprise to see how liberal this city actually is. Um, and then maybe what's, what was not such a pleasant surprise is Iowa is also supposed to be an agricultural state. But you guys don't really produce much of the food that you eat, which means that, uh, that it's difficult and, and expensive to get fresh food here. Uh, I don't know. I, I don't want to sound like a, the, the, the Bulgarian giving a piece of advice to, uh, to Iowa. Uh, <laughs> but those are my impressions. Um, as far as work is concerned, I came unfortunately with a lot of baggage um, so I had to finish translations and, and other projects uh, but I also made good use of, of the library uh, which was certainly one of my priorities here and it may turn out uh, that, uh, that I have actually taken a new creative direction starting here but let's see.
Well, uh, last thoughts. Uh, I, I still have some time here, uh, but um, anyway, uh, certainly I'm, I'm very thankful to be here and uh, really thank you for having me, um, for, for having this opportunity to, to experience Iowa, the Midwest, the, the spirit of the IWP and, and meeting all those, those wonderful writers. I think that's, uh, that's really important for me. I've always felt good in an international crowd um, and uh, in the recent years with the pandemic and all, I didn't have much chance to, to do that. Um, I, I don't think I had ever met anybody from, from Sri Lanka or Zimbabwe and uh, now I've met amazing writers from those countries and uh, I've made friends. Uh, so. It was really a, a very good opportunity for me.